Hi, I'm Jeannie Giesler, and I'm here today to talk to you about agencies, the ones that plan and the ones that don't. And again, the biggest thing that we need to learn today and in the future is how to identify your plan and the things that should be in it. So let's take a look. So planning and framework is what we're going to talk about here today. You need to take a step back and look back in your own agency and you want to develop a benchmark for where you're already at right now. And part of this is going to be, you don't want to dwell in the past, but you do want to look back and not be a resident of that time, but actually be able to take what you've learned in the past and move forward into the future. So strong foundation is what we want to establish, and that's what that benchmark is going to do. But now what we want to start to do is put together a plan for how do we build a strong framework off that base that we already have. So number one, we want to use calendar, and we want to use this across the board in your agency. Part of that is laying out the plan for what are you going to be doing for the whole year. Getting that information into the calendar loading it up and then also with reoccurring appointments because when we do this plan and we set it out we don't want to be going back and necessarily rebuilding the process month after month and then the hard and fast publish dates when these things have to happen the communication and messaging is another big part too is you want to make sure you have time to do meaty content and what I mean by meaty content is you want to have time to research. You want to have time to develop what you want to say. If it's for a particular niche, it always helps to have good resources marked and then be able to literally tag these things. So let's say you get ready to do this next year again and you might want to talk about the same thing. You're able to re-pull up this information and repurpose it because things in our industry are always changing. So again, what we've talked about now is basically those three key things for the structure is your calendar, making it cyclical, it should be always reoccurring, never ending, and then your communication, a strong communication base. So getting your money together for getting a great plan and setting up a, a true marketing budget for yourself and how do you subsidize this? Well, don't forget you have a lot of things internally in-house you're already getting for free through your carriers and your trade associations. So look at what you already have in place. The other thing is take advantage of the co-op that might be available with your carriers. This is a great way to utilize, and they even have products or services that they're putting out uh, that allow you to integrate right within your agency for very little cost or depending on your co-op you could use those dollars to do it. But the other thing I challenge you with is we as independent agents are entrepreneurs. You have great ideas of your own. I think it's one of the places that you can really shine is develop what you think you'd like to do. Pro approach your carriers and kind of explain to them. Lay it out from beginning to end what you plan on doing and a lot of times they're going to either sponsor the whole thing or they may co-op the dollars with you. So again, don't spend money unnecessarily in areas. Take a look at the resources you already have and work within your own vendors or your own carrier networks to help to, to get the financing together for some of these things. Getting the right people, the right skills, and in the right position. I think we have all come to a, a point here in this industry and in the time period we are right now is the world is changing and it's no longer a, a small network that you work within, it's a global society. And we have to start to look at the fact that the job positions are changing also. And instead of just hiring very segmented and very siloed positions where you're hiring a producer, an account manager, or even a receptionist, you have to look at the fact that we are a digital society now. We are hiring almost digital analysis. When we're hiring people in positions in our agency, they're online most of the time. 
literally uploading policies to researching things, you're using the digital platform and digital networks to do the job. We need to be hiring people and teaching these skills along with it. We're not trying to replace people, but what we are trying to do is take people out of the rote and manual processes and really be involved in the areas that are going to bring true value to our agencies. Um, not everybody is right for every single position, but these are basic skills that we have to learn too. And then finding out people's passion. We as agents or being part of an industry, if you love what you do, granted work is always work. I never kid anybody. There are days no one wants to get up, but you overall love what you do. And don't, doesn't your customer experience also shine a little bit differently? That when people truly enjoy what they're doing, people gravitate towards those like that. And again, you get the right people in the right position with the right skills, but be prepared for moving into the future to look for a new skill set on how you want to hire those and the skills that you're looking at for the next generation agency to come. So now we're to the end and this is the part that I really like is capturing the data. So how are you going to know what you did really worked? Well this is the part right now that with a strong framework that we talked about putting in place and making sure that you know what you're doing throughout the year, you're going to be able to run reports now. And the key thing is, is we built the benchmark when we started this framework. So you always know the guaranteed results of where you started. And now you want to see incrementally how are you doing. And now you're able to actually see what, how you did during the month, the quarter, and the year. And you can even drill down now if you want to look at it by week in some of the framework that we've set up. So the key thing in all of this is knowing where you can get reports. Every business that I know either has some sort of management system or a CRM system. You spend a lot of money on it, but how much of it are you really using? This is where you start to really get your money's worth back is run reports. If you don't know how to run reports, find out. But you should be gathering data analytics on everything you're doing, which is going to help you each year as you build. At the end of the season, when you rebuild the plan, this helps you to format what you're going to do moving into the next year. And even to planning as far now as three years, five years, and ten years into the future. This is the really cool part where you can actually see the ROI for what you spent, not only on people, but systems and processes that will make you a stronger, better organization.